Hey there, it's Harry from Seven Daddy Barbecue. I'm back at LAX today, headed to Chicago again as a returning instructor for the Weber Masterclass. We have two days of exciting events planned for about 50 students. On Friday, we're gonna be involved in a cooking a brisket, trimming briskets, and uh, loading our pits. We've got four pit masters in attendance. We've got Harry Sue, we've got Tony from Historic Barbecue, Dustin from Weber, Deuce Straymond from Sweet Baby Ray's. We're gonna cook a brisket, have a barbecue themed dinner, and end the day at 10 o'clock. And on Saturday, it's gonna be a full day of pork fabrication, brisket breakout sessions, brisket taste test, the signs of brisket and grating, and we're gonna do wood, smoke, seasonings, and do a wrap up on Saturday. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride, so come join me for the Weber Masterclass in Schaumburg, Illinois. Friday morning, we are out at the Weber Grill, famous Weber Grill restaurant in Schaumburg, Illinois. I'm here with Dustin and uh, we're checking out the equipment for the class tonight. We've got all the 22s and the 18s ready to go. So, uh, Dustin, what, we're going to do a little uh, brisket shootout tonight or what? All the uh, four pit masters or what? Tonight is the taste test. Taste test, okay. So, Wagyu Prime certified okay. Angus beef choice and select briskets. Wow. All season the same, set up the spit, mm -hmm. set up the same. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to test them for... Okay. So, the, the meat's on already or not yet? Uh, meat went on at 1 a.m. last night. 1 a.m. Who, who did it? You did it? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Dustin, you are the, like the, one of the hardest working pit masters, man. You are like... You don't sleep, right? 24-7? Yes, no. <laughs> so Dustin is the former executive chef for this restaurant here. And uh, over the past year and a half, right, you've moved on. I did. Now, now he's known as a barbecue experience manager. And uh, he gets to travel to places like Costa Rica and uh, far and wide, uh, promoting the Weber brand and uh, cooking barbecue. That is a life, right? I mean, you, you get to meet people, have fun, cook lots of barbecue. And uh, really have, have no responsibilities to manage a crew of 200 people. None. None. I manage myself. Right, you manage yourself. <laughs> and uh, as long as you can keep your immune system going, you, you are rock and roll. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So uh, the four briskets are Wagyu. What else? Wagyu, USDA Prime, Certified Angus Beef Choice, and USDA Select. Select. Okay. So we'll get a select as part of the taste test. So four different kinds of brisket cook exactly the same way. Just a rub and a smoke and a cook, right? Not, not, no, not nothing else. I right? just keep it simple. Food. Yep. And, and who's gonna be eating it tonight? Uh, we have 55 people uh, coming in from, uh, I think, all over the United States and some of our friends from Mexico uh, uh, to see how we do it on the Weber Smoky Mountains. All right, wonderful. And then uh, the uh, tomorrow, what are we doing? Tomorrow, uh, well, tonight we're gonna do a little bit more trimming. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna break up into groups. Everybody's getting two certified Angus beef choice briskets and. Uh, we're gonna do some trimming, we're gonna do some pit setups, and we're gonna do a little bit of cooking. Tomorrow we have uh, a lunch taste test, a couple breakout sessions, an alcohol and beer pairing with our friends from Sazerac and Samuel Adams Beer. Uh, we got a pork ribs, beef briskets, uh, breakouts, and then a knife accessories. Uh-oh, I can hear thunder, maybe lightning. So hopefully uh, we're gonna be cooking outdoors and uh, it's not gonna be too rainy or windy or too much lightning here, but it's great to be here at Weber in Schaumburg, Illinois, getting ready to start a master class. All right, I'm here at the Weber R&D facility. I'm here with all the ambassadors and folks from uh, Mexico. Maybe you Ivan. Ivan. Sebastian. Sebastian, Lorenzo, and, uh, Lorenzo, and then uh, just tell the camera kind of what you guys do for Weber in Mexico. Uh, I'm a world grader specialist for uh, Mexico, the Mexico team. Mexico team, <laughs> all right. And uh, we have Sebastian, That's who's the also the group. And also, uh -huh. I love this guy. Oh, I love you, you too, man. I love you too. I love you too, man. Uh, we, we're going to do a group hug in a little get bit. Inside. All right, so we're <laughs> walking into the... Uh, uh, top secret facility here. We don't allow cameras, so I gotta turn this off. So we finished the top secret tour of the Weber R&D. Uh, not allowed to show any camera or any video, but uh, we got out of that. Just so many amazing, amazing inventions uh, in the works. And I can tell you that uh, I spoke to the Weber engineers. They really torture test everything, making sure that every aspect of the product lifecycle, from the design, construction, usage, uh, to cleanup, they cover it all. And we're now heading out to the parts warehouse check out some of the parts this is a sprawling campus facility all of Weber R&D and Q&A 
and uh, our little tour group is enjoying the uh, Chicago sunshine, I guess. <laughs> At least it's not uh, a blizzard, right? Uh, but uh, it's uh, wet and a little cool, but once you have fire and barbecue in your belly, it's all good. All right, 50 years of Weber. That must be George Stefan right there. And the different kettles all the way to the summit. And this is the granddaddy, the uh, Weber summit. Here's the parts store, lots of uh, souvenirs. All right, I have conceivable parts here we can find in the Weber parts store. And from clothing, Weber charcoal, grill parts, well pans, cooking accessories, the grill basket here. Wow, look at this cool graphic of uh, Weber. So quality, durability, reliability. So those are the values that they make products by. Great graphic here of some of the values of the Weber Corporation. I'm on the Weber campus and this building that you see here is the original building. George Stephan uh, built the first uh, of his pits and uh, this facility has grown into a large campus and this is just one of the many campuses that uh, Weber has here. It's all these buildings have different facilities like R&D, design, distribution and so on and this is just one of the many Weber locations out here in Illinois. Alright you can't come to Chicago without enjoying deep dish pizza so today for lunch we're heading to Giordano's and uh, between Giordano's and Lou Malnati it's all great pizza. The good news is the Weber restaurant is right down the street next door. It's gonna be super cool to have some deep dish pizza at Giordano's with our crew here. I was ambassadors from Mexico together with some of the Weber crew. Wow, it's pretty, it's, uh, whoa, look at that. It's crazy good. I came all the way from Los Angeles with this. <laughs> all right, Ivan, do it, man, from Mexico. So, I, Ivan's first attempt at uh, making serving deep dish pizza here. All the way from Mexico. There you go. All right, okay. Whoa, there you go. Like one method? Yeah, one, one on a plate, on a plate. On a plate. Oh, yeah, put it on a plate quick before he drips. There we go. Wonderful. <laughs> Good. Straight up. Straight up. There you go, the record. <laughs> See that? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we have a winner. <laughs> Picking himself up off the floor is Mr. Deuce. Oh. That's not fair. I know. His pit fell over, so. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so, considering that, that was a really good brisket. That was right. a good one. <laughs> Should be given the best effort award. Absolutely. Gold star. So, so that was 4 3 was my group at the 22.5. Number 2. At the 23.6 was Tony, and the 23.8 was Harry. All right, man. Okay. Good job, Eric. Right. Okay. All right. So brisket number one was USDA select. Brisket number two, certified Angus beef choice. Brisket number three was USDA prime, and number four was the Wagyu. With as close as these numbers are, and, and I was talking to Mark about this, and a question that we were talking about is, is the value in the higher price meat there to spend the extra dollars to go with that route? Now, it's a personal preference. For me, personally, no. I know that I got an incredible product in certified Angus beef, and I'm going to go to them almost probably nine times out of ten, unless I can't get them. And that's not because Michael's sitting in. It's not. <laughs> I've been working with, with Michael. We've been serving certified Angus beef in this restaurant for the whole time I've been here. It's a consistent quality product. I like it.